That's a little piece of heaven right there. Hey y'all, Jim here with Simple Life Tennessee. With it being summertime, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways to enjoy fresh venison. Today, we're gonna make bacon wrapped venison medallions on an expert grill. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, so let me show you how we're gonna marinate the venison. I'm gonna use the McCormick's Grillmate Brazilian Steakhouse seasoning. We're gonna mix that up with some olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and some water. We're gonna let that marinate for 24 hours. I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. All right, y'all, so we've had this in there marinating for 24 hours. I'm gonna get this out of the package, get the bacon out, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna wrap this up, get it ready for the grill. All right, y'all, all you're gonna need for this next step is a package of bacon, whatever bacon that you prefer. I prefer the hardwood smoked flavor because it has less sugar in it. So when you transfer that over to the grill, it's not, it's not gonna burn as easily as it would with all the bacon that has the sugar in it. And you're gonna need some toothpicks. Let me show you what we're gonna do next. All right, y'all, what I've done is I've take our, taken the toothpicks and I'm actually soaking them in water. The reason I'm doing that is we're about to, we're gonna use these to wrap the bacon around the venison. And while that's on the grill, we're not gonna want that to burn or catch on fire. So what we're gonna do here is get a piece of the venison out that's been marinating. I'll get a couple pieces here so you guys can see. Let's do three. Look at that beautiful color there with the marinade. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that on there and I'm gonna roll it over. I want that bacon to be fully wrapped around it. And I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut right there. It's about almost half a piece of bacon. Then I'm gonna take that, take a toothpick, I'm going to push that all the way through to the other side. I want to make sure that that bacon is not going to come off of there during the cooking process. Once again, let's take a look at this piece here. Set it in there. We're going to roll it all the way over. Grab our toothpick that's already been wet. Roll that in there tightly. Push it through all the way to the other side. All right, y'all, we got these ones prepared and ready to go on the grill. That's warming up for us right now. We had some left over, so I'm gonna actually take that, we're gonna put that in the air fryer. Let me show you how we're gonna do that. So those of you who have an air fryer, you may not have a grill. You'll still wrap the bacon around it. Um, for right now, we're gonna cook these pieces without bacon. You wanna turn your air fryer on, and you wanna hit your steak option right there. It's got it starting at 400 degrees, but right now, it's going to warm up. Once that's ready, then I'll add the meat to it. And if I need to cook the temperature down from there, I will. Or I'll just check it in between. Okay? We're going to let that warm up. We're going to get these on the grill outside. All right, y'all. If you have, if you're new to my channel, you may not know this young man. This is Mike Arrigo from Arrigo Outdoor Adventures. He is our resident grill master. If you need it cooked right and you want it to taste good, this is the man that, that's going to take care of it. So we're actually going to get these. Hand them off to the grill master. We're gonna let him get there, get that on the heat. Now, Mike, what temperature or what heat setting do you have this sitting on? I warmed it up to about 400 just to sear them. Then we're gonna drop it right around 300 and just kind of keep an eye on it. You don't want them to burn, but you don't wanna cook it too slow either. You just kind of gotta get that happy medium and keep an eye on it as it's cooking. The, one, the main thing is you can't walk away from it. When people think they're just gonna walk away from cooking food or grilling, you can't do that. You gotta stand there and watch it. Okay, 
Okay, we got that heated up. I'm gonna get these pieces in there. Can you all hear that? Let's give me some light. That's when you know that you gotta heat it up right. You're putting your meat in and you're not hearing that sear when it first goes in. You did not get your air fryer hot enough. We're gonna pop this back in. It's gonna hit back at the 400. I'm gonna do it five minutes and then I'm gonna flip it over. Take a look and see how it's done. All right, y'all. We got about five minutes here on this side. Starting to look really good. We're gonna go ahead and flip those over. It's not gonna take very long, y'all. Some people will tell you I'm probably overcooking it right now. You might be right, but this is gonna be to the preference that I like to do the steak in the air fryer. We're gonna throw that back in there to finish up. I'll bring you back when we're done with those. Let's go see how we're doing on the grill. All right, Mike, those look like those are starting to press up nicely on each side. Starting to, yep, I bumped the heat up just a little bit. Yeah. Now, once we get those seared on the, each side with the bacon, then you'll probably bump it down a little bit, let it cook through and move it to the yep. back of the grill. Yep. All right. All right, y'all, I think we have these ones perfectly ready. Right, let's pull those out and take a look at them. Oh yeah. Let's get these out of here. Now, I prefer when I'm cooking for others other than myself, unless someone lets me know, I do not cook the meat medium rare. Not everybody prefers it that way. So if you look, we cooked that for about eight to 10 minutes. All right, y'all, let's cut this open, see what we got here. Oh yeah, look at that, perfectly cooked in the air fryer. That is what I'm talking about. Beautiful. All right, y'all, well, let's try that. Mm-hmm. I'm not just messing with you guys. That is ph phenomenal seasoning. That tastes absolutely delicious. Let's go out and see what Mike thinks. Hey, Mike. Here's some that we cooked in the air fryer. Try that, brother. Mm. Right? Yep, there you go. Keep eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else do you guys need to know? Oh, good. So that tells you just how mm. much better that's going to be once that bacon is fully cooked and those are cooked through right there. Mm hmm. That marinade work good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, and one of the reasons we wrap the venison in, in bacon, okay, versus a steak, is the steak has a natural marbling to it and a fat content. Venison is very, very lean. So without having the bacon wrapped around it to give it that extra oil and the grease, it would have dried out really fast. Um, however, the venison in the air fryer not wrapped in bacon, that turned out phenomenal, did not get dry at all. But that's kind of why we're doing this with the bacon. All right, y'all, we got this plated up here for you. Now what we decided to do was pair this with some oven roasted, or you can grill your veggies here. We got some zucchini, some squash, some eggplant, some onions, broccoli, cauliflower, just your assortment that you have there. Some beautiful white rice, and you can hit that with some lime seasoning, um, some parsley, whatever you like, but let's get to the real start of the show here. I'm gonna start right here, and we're gonna show you how well this got cooked. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Take a bite. Mmm. That's a little piece of heaven right there. That is tender. That is juicy. I'm not tasting the gamey flavor that you would normally have with venison. That Brazilian steakhouse seasoning has totally transformed that piece of meat. That paired with the salty and smokiness of the hardwood bacon is absolutely perfect, y'all. Remember, life is always best kept simple. We'll see you again soon.